Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing the new Kiko Active Face Primer, the Kiko Active Foundation and also the Kiko Active Concealer. So this is kind of a first impressions on these products. I'm already wearing them on my face. And if you are new here, hi, welcome to the world of beauty craft. I'm Joanna and in this channel I share all of my passions, mostly makeup every Saturday, but I also have some bits of lifestyle and some geeky content coming up. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. It helps me so much. And without any further ado, let me show you my thoughts on these products. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm going to be trying the three active products and I found these on the um, Kika website on their new in product section and I was actually very, very curious, especially for the foundation and the primer, but I did already try a little bit of the concealer in the store and I'm very, very curious to apply it. So as I mentioned, I found them online, but I bought them in the store near me and the ladies in Kiko store are always very, very sweet and helpful. So I got shade matched for the foundation and concealer. And these all come in the standard black box. So I'm guessing these are new products from their regular collection because Kiko usually does tend to have some special editions and limited editions. And I did try a little bit of the foundation and concealer in the store, but I haven't tried the primer, so I'm very, very curious. So this is the Kiko Active Face Primer and it's a stick. And the stick is kind of a light pink color and it does have sort of a baby powder smell, but it's actually very subtle. Yeah, it's a very, very subtle smell. And the primer is 9 euros 99. Then we have the Kiko Active Foundation and it's also a stick foundation. And I bought mine in the shade 3G that is sort of a more golden undertone and this is basically the same size of packaging but the primer is white and the foundation is a shiny black and the foundation is the more expensive of the three products this is 14 euros 99 and actually even though it's the exact same size packaging the primer has 9.5 grams or 0.33 ounces and the foundation is 12.5 grams 0.44 ounces and finally for the concealer the packaging is similar to the foundation but this one is a squeezy tube and I got it in the shade 03 and the concealer is 8 euros 99 now when I bought these they had a 2 plus 1 product so I basically got the concealer for free because they would give the less expensive product of the three so let's start trying this on and from what what I read on the website, the primer is supposed to be blurring and I have never tried a stick primer. So I'm just going to use it mostly where I have bigger pores. I don't usually use primer all over my face, but it feels very, very smooth gliding on and I didn't use too much. And I'm just going to blend it a little bit with my hands. It feels very, very soft on the skin. And also I'm kind of in the middle of filming this look from the colors. Let's see if you can guess what it is. Let me know in the comments down below. 
This will be coming probably by the end of the month. Okay, and my pores, I can still see them a little bit, but I definitely feel a very silky texture on the skin. And I might have used a little bit too much here, so I'm just going to try and blend it out. And we'll see how it looks with the foundation. As for the foundation, they say it's supposed to be a natural finish and long wearing. Even though I'm not actually going to see how long it wears today, but if you'd like to see that sort of test longevity for the foundation, let me know in the comments. It also feels very smooth applying. I have a stick foundation from Revolution that I don't particularly love. Let's see how I like this one better or not. And I have been liking to blend foundation with brush. So I'm just going to buff this in. It's actually blending nicely. And it also has a pretty nice coverage. I feel like it's a medium high. It's not the most full coverage, but it has a really nice color. I feel like it does take a little bit more to blend than a liquid foundation, but it still blends very easily. I have actually been noticing that I do have some dry skin in this area and I feel like the primer and the foundation applied really nicely in this area for the condition that my skin is having. So it didn't emphasize it and I have a little bit of issue with that. So for a first time applying both of them, I am happy with how it turned out. I feel like the color is pretty perfect for my skin tone and as I mentioned, it doesn't seem to have a very full coverage, but it pretty much managed to even my skin tone, maybe a little bit apart from the redness I have. I'm actually just going to take a little bit more of the foundation directly on the brush and just apply a little bit more in these areas. And I think that does make a difference. Yeah, I did have a red spot here and now you don't notice it too much. Okay, so in terms of texture, I'm not entirely sure if you'll be able to tell. I do have a little bit of a weird texture in here, also a little bit on my nose, but on this area of my face, it is looking really, really good. So it might be the primer. I definitely have to test the primer against other foundations that I'm more used to. But overall, I am liking it. I'm not completely in love, but I think in terms of coverage, it did a pretty good job. So now for the concealer, this is actually a high coverage liquid concealer. And in the store, I only used a tiny little bit and it was really, really enough. So I'm going to try this amount on one eye. And I actually really liked how it applied with my finger.
as you see a small amount really goes a long way and this one feels really really good in the under eye area it feels very moisturizing so you can definitely notice a difference it has a pretty nice coverage and just like the foundation i feel like it gives a very natural finish i absolutely love that fact And I feel like they all have this sort of very gentle smell. I like it, but for people that don't like scented products, you can definitely notice it. And yeah, I really, really like how the concealer looks. And I still haven't set the foundation, but it feels pretty... It's not matte, but it feels like it dries a little bit without setting it with powder so i'm just going to use a little bit of one of my favorites also from kiko by the way that is the invisible touch just going to set it with a very small amount of powder but i do feel like the foundation has kind of a semi-matte finish and overall I feel like while this is the active line and these are definitely very practical products to apply I feel like I could probably get away with applying the foundation with my hands so if you do need something on the go, I would say these products are really nice. I did blend the foundation in the store with my hands and it felt very, very nice. So looking up close, I feel like I do have a little bit of texture. It is not too noticeable, but I really liked how it looked. My skin looks very very natural but it perfectly evened my skin tone you can still see one or two bits of redness showing through but overall i feel like it's a really nice finish i could probably have done a little bit of concealer on that spot but yeah for a first impressions i liked the products i feel like i need to test the primer with some different foundation and the foundation with a primer that I'm used to to kind of compare with this but for first impressions I really liked it and in terms of stick foundation I think I definitely love this one more than the one from Revolution so if you are looking for a stick foundation this is probably a very very good option and also not too expensive so yeah let me know in the comments down below what you think of the base if you think this is the sort of product you'd like to try and if you'd like to see any sort of other testing using these products let me know in the comments down below i will definitely try to see how long wearing this foundation can be and i'm going to have to finish this other video again as i mentioned it will come right around the end of the month is probably going to be the last video of january if you enjoyed this don't forget to leave me a thumbs up also i do have a lot of Kiko testing videos on my channel. I will leave those on the side and if you are new here Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos like this one every Saturday I also have some geeky content coming up and that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching